Hey guys, it's Andrew or BHA here bringing you a new video. So as you can see here, uh, the great folks over at Inner sent me over uh, some smart color light bulbs uh, to check out. And so a few months back, Inner had sent me over some uh, Zigbee smart plugs and I did a video on those and you could check those out here. These of course are uh, Zigbee bulbs, so you'll need some sort of Zigbee hub to uh, get these functioning. But we're going to go through and check them out and see what all we can do with them and see how we can integrate them into uh, Home Assistant. So here we go. pick up Enter's uh, bulbs straight from their website or you can go out on Amazon and uh, you can get a two pack of bulbs for about 50 bucks so that's a little pricey when it comes to smart bulbs but these of course are Zigbee they're not like your normal Wi-Fi like Tuya bulbs that are you can get like a three pack of Tuya bulbs for about eh, maybe like 15 20 bucks at Walmart so these are definitely a little bit more expensive than that but uh, if you're looking for Zigbee bulbs, uh, I guarantee you these are just as good, if not better, than the uh, Philips Hue bulbs. And they integrate easily with SmartThings. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course for starters, we're going to uh, go through our regular unboxing of the device. Once we do that, then of course we will get them set up and configured in SmartThings because that's how I control all of my Zigbee and Z-Wave products. Once we do that, then of course we will take a look at the configuration and see what uh, options are available there in SmartThings once we get the bulbs added. After that, we will uh, add them into Home Assistant. And of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so they definitely come in a high quality box here. A uh, nice red color with their inner logo on it. And of course you got all the specs on the side here. These are RGBW bulbs. Nine and a half watts. For the most part, pretty standard for uh, smart bulbs. Inside the box, there's not a whole lot of additional things that you'll find in there other than instructions on how to get them set up with your hub. And then, of course, um, the two bulbs. And that's it. Quality seems pretty good. Uh, definitely equivalent to, say, a Philips Hue or even maybe a GE smart bulb. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step. So I didn't have a good place to uh, put them, so I've got it plugged into uh, one of my bathroom fixtures here that has a whole bunch of the different bulbs in it. Uh, has like uh, four different uh, sockets for different bulbs or whatever, so uh, just plugged it in there so we can at least test it out and show you how well it works. As you can see there, uh, it is the inner bulb there. It says inner on the side. Uh, but we're gonna pull up smart things here. And uh, this is a super easy setup since inner is already integrated into smart things. We'll just go ahead and hit the plus up here in the corner. Uh, we can do a search for inner and then of course uh, you'll just choose lighting. And then from there, we want the AE280C bulbs there, so it's the second one down. Select that. Follow the next couple of steps. If you want to pick the location of where it's going to be installed. And boom, that's it. Came right up, inner light connected, we are good to go. 
that is all it takes to get the uh, bulb into smart things so super quick there let's go ahead and move on to the next step and check out that configuration in smart things All right, so in smart things, as you can see towards the top there, you automatically have your on and off. Underneath that, you have the ability to uh, define uh, timers and uh, schedules for turning them on and off if you want to. Next, you have your dimmer controls, which allows you to change the uh, brightness. And then, of course, color controls, so you can pick whatever color you want, since these are RGBW bulbs. And then, of course, at the bottom there, you also have color temperature. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much the only settings that you get. Uh, so there's no other special controls uh, that you get other than just your normal uh, controlling of color brightness and temperature. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step and get it added into Home Assistant. All right, so as I've talked about this before, adding SmartThings devices into Home Assistant is super easy, uh, especially using the SmartThings integration. You just go into your integration section. We'll go down to SmartThings. Literally, all we have to do is click on the reload there underneath the three dots. Give it a second to reload, and it comes right up. After that, then of course we'll scroll down through the devices here. As you can see, there is inner light. It's already been added, so that's it. It is now configured in Home Assistant, and we are ready to go. Let's move on to that last step, and we'll see it in action. All right, so on the left here is Home Assistant with the bulb configured as a button there on the screen. And on the right, of course, I have uh, video footage of the light itself. And we'll just play around with some of the settings. Uh, you can't really tell from the video itself, but it is a hint of purple. And that's why it shows purple there in Home Assistant. Then we can go into the uh, color wheel there and change it to whatever we want. And it is almost instantaneous on uh, changing of the colors. So uh, any kind of settings we change in Home Assistant, it immediately is changing it. So it is very responsive and it's working very well uh, through uh, Smart Things and Home Assistant. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Pretty simple setup. Usually these SmartThings devices go pretty well. Um, these Zigbee devices, if you're a big Zigbee fan, you might want to check these out. Like I said, Inner is a little pricey at $50 for two bulbs. Uh, but again, you usually pay a premium for a lot of these Zigbee devices. Uh, they tend to go a little bit higher than your regular Wi-Fi Tuya devices. If nothing else, jump over to Inner's website and check out everything else they have to offer. Uh, they got tons of other smart products out there that you might be interested in. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So for starters, we of course unbox the device. Once we did that, of course, we set it up in the SmartThings app. Uh, after that, I went through and kind of showed you what your options are as far as configuration goes within SmartThings. Then we got it set up in Home Assistant. And of course, lastly, I showed you what that looks like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, like I said before, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to Enter's website and check out everything that they have to offer. Uh, tons of smart gear there. I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And of course, if you're looking for VPN service for your home, check out IPVanish. I will have the link in the description below. 
head over there and they offer some great deals on VPN service. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.